Nicky Hilkins, Outside Turf Mall, West Ham Fan TV. Mike, um, disappointed with the draw, but happy with the performance. Yeah, definitely disappointed with the draw, but I mean, the performance seems to have come on leaps and bounds from performances. That's probably the best performance that I've seen all season. Not home and away, really, at any game that I've seen so far. Uh, Despite the referee. Yeah, despite the ref, yeah, the ref tried his, tried his best to spoil it. I said to my mate when, I, when we were coming up, this ref's going to spoil the game today, he's going to send someone off, he's an inexperienced referee, um, but we can't keep blaming refs. It's not, I mean, yeah, the ref tried his best. Yeah, he's been to spoil it. Yeah, no, I, I know, I know, but I think we looked defensively, I thought we looked quite sound. Probably uh, Kuyate had a really good game today. Um, I wouldn't really say there was a standout performer for us. I mean, I think the goal had a little bit of luck. I mean, I don't know, but I can't remember who played the ball forward. It was oh. all from, OK, so it was an assist from Hart right up to, to Antonio. Um, but yeah, I'm still not, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, still not imp I'm still not convinced by Joe Hart. I mean, I don't want to sort of stand there and start slating players, but... I think I he's mean, getting better every game. Yeah, but it just makes me laugh how people there are, are sort of chanting England's number one. And it says a lot for the state of the English game. I know that he plays for West Ham and a lot of people were slating him on the radio. Yesterday I heard on TalkSpot people saying, oh, um, you know, he's, he's, he's not good enough because he's playing for West Ham. So he's, you know, he's, he's not getting to his potential. Whereas if he's playing for a bigger club, then he might be. That's you know. bullshit. But I think, I, I think he's getting a little bit of unfair treatment, but... He's a, he's, he just needs, I think he's a, he's a confidence player, Joe Hart, I think. He needs to get his confidence back. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, he, he sort of, I think that one, that, uh, I can't remember who had the long shot, someone had a long shot in the second half, and it nearly it nearly went in off him, and that was, it wouldn't have been his fault, I suppose. It would have been pretty unlucky. Come on, let's look at the positives. Um, very organised. Look, Slav gets his, his critics, right? He got it spot on today. You can't, even, the, even down to the substitution times. Do you know what? I still think, and I know people are going to criticise me for saying this, Carroll and Hernandez don't work. Whether you play them as a three up front, whether you play them as a two up front, I don't think it works. I think personally, they need time to gel, of course. Carroll had a while. He obviously didn't start from the start of the season. He wasn't fit, so he slowly come back. He didn't have pre-season, so you've got to take that into consideration as well. Um, but, yeah, I mean, look, respect the point. I mean, Bilic, obviously, like, as I say, I mean, that's honestly, I'm speaking from the heart here, you know, that was the best performance that I've seen so far this season. And if I don't understand, I mean, I overheard what Dom was saying, like, why didn't we play like that against Swansea? Why is it, is it what? So is there a problem playing at home? Is there a, more of a nervousness playing at home? Um, I, I, I don't know, to be honest. But, I mean, I've come all the way here, um, expect, not expecting much, really if we'd come away with a win we'd have all been delighted but i think you know the point given the fact that we were down to 10 men it's a fair result but then also you can say about carol if he's just been booked he's on, he's on a yellow card and he's been booked two minutes before he's got the second yellow then surely doesn't he think in his head well okay i need to be do you know what mike i said the same thing it was a stupid stupid chat i've heard I'm from reports say, I'm not I, I, i've heard that it could have been a straight red um, it was flight. He flew in with an elbow. I heard it could have been a straight red. Obviously, when you see, it, even if it wasn't, going in like that a minute after you've just been booked for the same thing is is stupid. Look, I know the refs are a lot are under a lot of pressure as it is. They got a whole stadium screaming at them. You got home fans. You got away fans. And you know, I, I think he actually reacted a little bit to the home fans' uh, reaction to the challenge. I think, and I think it was. I'm not going to say it was unfair on Carroll, but I think it was unprofessional of Carroll to have gone in, as I said, two minutes after he's got a yellow card. He should be a little bit more, you know, think to himself, OK, I've got to be a bit more careful here. I've got to, you know, well, play a bit deeper or just not, you know, go in like for sort of full, you know, full blooded. But as I say, I'm happy with the point and onwards and upwards. I mean, we go on to what, what next is it? No, Brighton before that. We've got Brighton at home before. Yeah. Brighton and then Tottenham in the week and then Palace away. I thought it was Tottenham <laughs> first. That um, shows you what I'm, how much attention I pay. Do you know what? I mean, that was our full, more or less our full side out today, apart from like Ginger Pele. Um, I thought Obiang, when he came on, done quite well. I thought, as I say, Kuyate. I, th I think that's probably the best game that I've seen him play so far this season. But yeah, happy with the point. Right, yeah. Thanks very much. Okay. Cheers, yeah, pal. Safe journey.